to STL TV Live. I'm Ivy Hartman. As you can see, we've got a studio full of guests. Let me start out by introducing you to Batty and Scar, who are in the cage. We've got Kathy Spahn, a naturalist from the World Bird Sanctuary. And joining us now is Scotty Farrow of RNA Worldwide Recycling. Now, talk about how you fit into this picture, Scotty, <laughs> with yeah. RNA Worldwide Recycling. Who are you guys, and then how did you partner with uh, the World Bird Sanctuary? Well, we are a free electronics and computer and metal recycler located in Arnold, Missouri. We do events, um, community events, around yeah. the St. Louis and Jefferson County area. We're actually doing an event in Union, Missouri, and Miss Terry from the World Bird Sanctuary, who's a resident of Union, actually brought us some items in to recycle, was curious about our services. Uh, she got a business card of mine. A month later, she called me and said, would you be interested in co-hosting an event with us and offering your services, which are landfill diversion of electronic items. Yeah, so here you are with the World Bird Sanctuary and you are partnering up for Batter Day on mm -hmm. April 7th from 9 to 2, and you're expecting people to come to the World Bird Sanctuary, not only to see awesome bats like Kathy brought, but to bring what with them? Electronics, metal, um, if it plugs into a wall, if it runs off batteries or the batteries themselves, we take it. If, it. if it's metal, any type of metal, we accept those items, again, free of charge. We take CRT monitors, televisions, electric toothbrushes, stoves, ovens, microwaves, we take it all. That's awesome. And you're talking about avoiding the landfill. So what do you guys Correct. do with it all? Uh, we, we recycle it. The uh, computers that we brought in, one of two things happens to them. The first thing is the data is destroyed, and that's guaranteed. Okay. And so when you bring that computer in, we're going to wipe the data for you. Um, Great. I love that I don't have to do it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, we're going to break the computer down by component and recycle those items. Or if the computer, now sometimes old computers to us isn't old for everybody. Sure. So what we do, we can refurbish that computer. We can resell it into a, next, a secondary market. And folks who normally wouldn't be able to afford a computer can get a professionally restored refurbished computer for less than $200. That is awesome. So you just didn't think you'd ever see it at the same time. Electronics and bats, and you can um, help out by bringing all those electronics and recycling them. Bring them to the World Bird Sanctuary on Saturday, April 7th from 9 to 2. You don't need to reserve anything. Bring the whole family out because there's going to be a whole day full of activities. If you want more information, you can go to worldbirdsanctuary.org. Also, if you want more information about RNA recycling, you go to rnaworldwide.com. So talk about what kind of activities are happening on Batter Day and the whole purpose behind it. Okay, well, the purpose originally started, um, 2011 was uh, listed as the year of the bat. And we have our two straw-colored fruit bats, and I decided it's one of my deep passions is bats. And I decided that let's go ahead and start up a small event featuring the bats to talk about how bats and birds even though they're not directly related, their overall conservation is directly related. So we just grew from there, and so we're going to be doing two shows, both they are on the 7th, uh, one at 10 and one at 1 o'clock. Uh, so we'll have two shows featuring our two straw-colored fruit bats, and we'll talk about bat facts and just how amazing these animals are. And they really are important even to our agricultural system. Millions yeah, and millions of dollars. Yeah, it's, it's down, actually right? um, $53 billion oh, a year billion. is what bats are estimated to save our agricultural business. So we need to keep our bats around. And most of the bats we have in this area, actually all the bats in the United States, eat mainly insects. So we want to keep those bats around, keep those mosquito populations down, mm -hmm. and other um, crop destroying um, insects. Bats they they get eat a them. Bad rap though. They do, and it's because many people look at them and they fly at night. So that's one of their first fears. They automatically think that oh, the bat's going to come and suck all my blood out because yeah. of vampires. Well, they really don't do that. They eat insects. No, these guys um, are really cute. These guys are too. super cute, and they eat fruit. I mean, our bats eat fruit. Uh, so the other thing is a lot of people are like, oh, they're going to get entangled in my hair. Well, actually, if they're diving at you, it's because you're stirring up insects in the grass. Uh, oh, so they're going after that cloud of insects that you may not see above your, above your head or all those mosquitoes that are buzzing you. They're going after the mosquitoes. They could care less what you're doing. Love it. So, but these guys really are cute. And they have cute. been very personable because Kathy's been feeding them pieces of the mm -hmm. fruit when we've been off camera and they've been coming towards it and they're responding well to humans mm -hmm. and things like that. So what can people do to help bats other than come to the Batter Day event and, and, and what can I do in my own backyard? Oh, one of the simplest things you can do is you can pick up, World Bird Sanctuary will be selling uh, some bat boxes. Um, so you could easily just put a bat box in your backyard and hopefully you'll get a, a group of bats um, in your yard that will help with those mosquitoes. The other great things to do is just learn about bats because one of the easiest things I always like to say is the more we all know and understand about animals, 
more likely it is we want to help them out. So just learning about animals uh, and just putting up bat boxes, uh, come out and join them, support, support conservation. Um, that's another great way to help out these animals is to support conservation. Awesome. In our first segment, Kathy talked about ways you can help the World Bird Sanctuary. And one of those things was to recycle old household items, or, and including phone books and things like that, so you can bring those to the World Bird Sanctuary. But really, Scotty wants you to bring your old electronic devices for Batter Day and community recycling on Saturday, April 7th from 9 to 2 at the World Bird Sanctuary. They, he is with RNA Worldwide Recycling, and he's partnering with the World Bird Sanctuary so that we can keep all that other electronic junk out of the landfills. Absolutely. We appreciate it. Save the bats, save the birds, save the save the earth, yes. and definitely participate on April 7th. I want to thank you both for being here. Thank you. Oh, thank what you. a really cool event. Thank you. And I really appreciate you bringing the friends. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Scotty, you're not too bad yourself either. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> hey, you can follow us on Facebook or friend us, friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, all of the above, so you can keep up with all the great events going on around St. Louis. Our YouTube channel is another great resource to see all the programming here on STL TV. And you know, another way you can see all our programming is watch it live streaming on stltv.net as long as you're not watching it already on your television set. Now as we go to break I want you to take a look at these hot jobs that are being brought to you by Slate Missouri Career Center. We'll be back with more right after this.